Welcome to the Pregistry channel. My name is Allison, and today I'm going to talk about cervical insufficiency and why it is important that it be managed if it were to develop. Cervical insufficiency, also known as an incompetent cervix, occurs when the cervix opens too early during the gestation, putting the pregnancy at risk. In 1% of pregnancies, cervical insufficiency occurs, which can result in premature birth and miscarriage. The cervix is located at the lower part of the uterus, and if normal, is firm and closed. During pregnancy, the cervix provides important physical support for the fetus by forming a mucus plug that shields it from bacteria. Towards the end of pregnancy, which is after 37 weeks, the cervix will begin to become softer and will gradually dilate so that the vagina begins to open. Not all women will show symptoms of cervical insufficiency, but symptoms to look out for are increased vaginal pressure, bleeding, pain, and discharge. Providers can also perform a transvaginal ultrasound if cervical insufficiency is suspected by looking at the cervical length, dilation, and displacement of the fetal membranes in the cervical area. The cause of cervical insufficiency is not completely known, but could be caused by previous structural damage. Cervical trauma from past deliveries, an example, has been known to lead to long-term cervical weakness. Certain genetic conditions can also weaken the cervix as well as a history of multiple second trimester losses. The main approach for managing cervical insufficiency is a cerclage, which is a surgical procedure that stitches the cervix closed and is believed to prevent 90% of premature birth cases. For women with a history of multiple second trimester losses, the cerclage procedure is recommended before the 14th week of pregnancy to help prevent another premature death. Lastly, it is important that I mention that cervical insufficiency can cause maternal sepsis to occur. Maternal sepsis is a rare complication but can occur when the cervix widens, permitting the mucus plug to escape and no longer serve as a protective barrier for infection. Recognizing symptoms such as fever and consulting your provider can prevent severe organ dysfunction and death. Be sure to stay connected with your pregnancy provider throughout your entire pregnancy to ensure that you can keep you and your baby healthy. For more information about this, check out Pregistry.com.